Yeah. In continuation of its budget defense sessions, the Senate Committee on Appropriation meets officials from the Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, as well as the Federal Inland Revenue Service, among other agencies. Consolidated Revenue Fund of the legislators took up the Ministry of Finance on the process for the issuance of tax waivers as incentives, demanding a halt of the existing procedure for such grants. We have to take bold decisions. When you talk about credit, uh, tax credit, it's an expenditure, and it should go through the National Assembly. There's no two way about that. This tax credit, so look at these illegalities, remove them tomorrow, please. Then let's move ahead. Some people, few people are taking advantage of it. This tax credit that they collect for roads, up to now they didn't do the roads. We have also agreed on the issue of waivers. That one, all monies be paid to the coffers of the government and they can, people can now apply for rebates. And that you said, yes, we are in a transition period. That the provision that was made this year in this year's budget, for us, since it's a transition period, can we half it? by reducing it by 50%. Yet, this thing is unexplained. The Senate continued to probe the budget of other agencies, including the FIRS, before raising an observation. GMD of NNPC has refused to attend any invitation of the National Assembly. Failure to appear or to attend to public hearing is undermining the legislature. And we are hereby directing that within 24 hours, the group managing director of NNPC Nigeria Limited should appear before the Senate Committee on Appropriation, and it should be in company of the MD or ES NUPRC. They should attend. And while coming, they should give us the total production output which has been approved for them on a daily basis. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, had failed to show up for the second time for the hearing of the Senate Ad Hoc Committee, probing over 11 trillion naira expenditure on turnaround maintenance of refineries in the country between 2010 and 2023. Interfacing with the Ministry of Solid Minerals, whose major concern is funding for the acquisition of bankable data to attract investors, the legislators concluded by promising to raise the ministry's budget to enable it to reach its revenue target. We cannot attract the investment profile that we need. Other agencies are expected to appear before the end of the week to defend their budget. From the National Assembly, Gloria Umezuki, Channels Television News.